I'm a brain surgeon and after 40 years of operating on the human mind, I can tell you something shocking. Once you turn 80, your body doesn't simply age. It reprograms itself. It's as if a hidden switch flips deep inside your brain and your entire system starts obeying a new set of biological laws, ones that no one told you about, not even your doctor. This isn't rare, it's universal. According to new research from the Lancet Healthy Longevity, every human body crosses the same five irreversible thresholds once it reaches 80. It doesn't matter if you're a marathon runner or a lifelong vegetarian, your muscles, your taste buds, your skin, your brain, and even your sleep clock start behaving differently. Your body isn't breaking down, it's switching strategy, it's choosing survival over performance. That's what most people don't understand. Aging isn't a slow decline. It's a silent reorganization happening inside every organ. Your body is rewriting the code that's kept you alive for eight decades. Some of those changes protect you. Others accelerate the very thing you fear most, fragility, fatigue, and forgetfulness. In this video, I'll reveal the five biological transformations that happen once you turn 80, the ones no test or doctor's visit can stop. But stay till the very end because number three will shock you. It's something happening inside your brain right now that can quietly determine how long you'll live and how peacefully you'll sleep before the end. All medical studies and references are listed in the description. You can verify every fact yourself. Before we start, tell me in the comments, how old are you? My team and I read and reply to every single story personally. Now let's begin with number five, the first sign that your body has officially crossed into its final adaptation phase, and it starts right where your senses begin, your tongue. Number five, your taste buds shrink, and food stops feeling like food. Once you turn 80, your world doesn't just slow down, it starts to taste different. Literally, one of the first things that quietly changes is your sense of taste, and scientists now know this isn't just about preference or appetite, it's biology rewriting how your brain interprets flavor. By age 80, the average person has lost nearly 70% of their taste buds, according to research from the Monal Chemical Senses Center. These microscopic sensors, the ones that once let you savor your morning coffee or enjoy the sweetness of ripe fruit, begin to flatten and die off. Each taste bud lives only about 10 days before being replaced, but as you age, your body stops regenerating them efficiently. The result? Meals lose their magic. But here's where it gets even more serious. Taste buds don't just help you enjoy food. They protect you from danger. They detect spoiled food, bitter toxins, or extreme salt levels. When you lose that defense, you start adding more salt or sugar to get the same satisfaction, and that's where the trouble begins. A 2021 Harvard Health Review found that older adults who lost more than half their taste sensitivity were 40% more likely to develop hypertension or diabetes within five years, not because of the aging itself, but because they unconsciously compensated with unhealthy flavoring. Your saliva production also slows dramatically after 80, which further blunts flavor. Saliva carries taste molecules to your taste buds. Without it, even the most flavorful meal tastes flat, like chewing cardboard. That's why many seniors suddenly lose interest in food, claiming nothing tastes good anymore. But it's not psychological, it's physiological. Your tongue, your nerves, and your salivary glands are all aging together, creating what scientists call gustatory fatigue. I once treated Dorothy, an 82-year-old retired chef, who used to light up every room with her cooking. One day she told me, I can't taste my own recipes anymore. She wasn't exaggerating. Her taste test revealed she could only distinguish between two of the five basic flavors. To cope, she began oversalting her meals, not realizing that each extra teaspoon of sodium was pushing her blood pressure higher. Her joy of cooking turned into quiet frustration. Every dish was a ghost of what it once was. What most people don't realize is that your sense of smell, which accounts for about 80% of flavor, also declines sharply after 70 and even faster after 80. Studies show that nearly half of adults over 80 have partial or total smell loss, known as presbyosmia. That's why food begins tasting bland, because you're not truly smelling it anymore. This is more dangerous than it sounds. Many older adults can't detect gas leaks, smoke, or spoiled food. And with reduced appetite, they begin eating less, spiraling into malnutrition without realizing it. So, if flavors are fading, don't ignore it. It's not about missing a meal. It's about missing the signals your body depends on to stay alive. Next up is number four, and this one goes even deeper than your tongue. Before we dive deeper, show your support by liking this video and subscribing, you can't afford to miss the next secret. Number four, your skin forgets how to heal. By the time you turn 80, your skin isn't just wrinkled, it's forgetful. And that forgetfulness isn't cosmetic, it's biological. 
Scientists now know that your skin, the body's largest organ, literally starts to forget how to repair itself. A small cut that would have healed in a few days when you were 40 might now linger for weeks or even months. It's not just slower, it's confused. A landmark 2022 study from Nature Aging discovered that after age 80, skin cells lose their molecular memory. This means that when you get injured, even something as tiny as a scratch, your body struggles to remember how to rebuild the tissue. Normally, fibroblasts, the cells that make collision and repair wounds, rush to the site, follow a genetic map, and patch things up. But in older adults, that map starts fading. The cells wander. They respond late, weakly, or not at all. That's why so many people over 80 complain that their wounds take forever to heal, or that bruises seem to appear from nowhere. It's not bad luck if the system breaks down. And because the skin also thins by nearly 20% after 80, those wounds go deeper and get infected faster. But the slowdown doesn't stop there. Your blood vessels, which deliver oxygen and nutrients to the skin, also harden with age. That means less circulation, less immune response, and less collagen, the protein that holds your skin together like scaffolding. According to a Journal of Dermatological Science review, collagen production drops by 75% between ages 25 and 80. By that point, even a mild bump can rupture fragile capillaries, causing large purple bruises known as senile purpura. I once treated Marjorie, an 83-year-old woman who showed me a tiny paper cut on her hand. It's been here three weeks, she said, frustrated, I keep cleaning it, but it just won't close. Her test results were normal, no diabetes, no infection, just slow cellular response. Her body wasn't broken, it had simply forgotten how to finish the repair. This forgetfulness has a deeper cause, epigenetic drift. Think of your skin cells like students that once followed perfect instructions. With age, those instructions fade and they start guessing. Some repair too little, others repair too much, forming scar tissue. The coordination that once made healing effortless is gone. That's also why older adults are more vulnerable to skin tears, ulcers, and infections, even from something as simple as scratching dry skin. And because your immune cells weaken too, bacteria get a head start. Studies show that skin infections in those over 80 last three times longer than in middle-aged adults. But there's a hopeful side to this story. Researchers are experimenting with low-level laser therapy and collagen peptides, both of which are shown to improve wound healing speed by up to 50% in seniors. Hydration, vitamin C, and gentle sunlight exposure can also help reactivate fibroblast activity. So, when your skin takes longer to heal, it's not vanity, it's communication. It's your body saying, I remember less, so I need more care. Next up is number three, and it's one you'll feel every night, not on your skin, but deep in your brain and blood. It's the reason so many people over 80 start waking up at 3 a.m. without knowing why. Number three, your brain starts rewiring itself. Around age 80, something extraordinary and unsettling begins happening inside your head. Your brain starts quietly rewiring itself, not because it wants to, but because it has to. By this point, you've lost nearly 20% of your brain's white matter, the neural highways that connect your thoughts, memories, and movements. To survive, your brain starts rerouting signals, creating new detours around fading circuits. It's an act of self-preservation, but it comes at a cost. According to a 2022 Nature Neuroscience study, this rewiring is your brain's way of compensating for decades of wear and tear. As neurons die or lose efficiency, nearby ones take over their jobs, forming improvised backup routes. The result? You can still think, recall, and reason, but not as smoothly. It's like driving through a city where half the main roads are under construction. You'll get there, but it takes longer and sometimes you forget where you were going. This explains why many people over 80 describe moments of confusion or delay, walking into a room and forgetting why, struggling to recall names, or losing their train of thought mid-sentence. It's not dementia. It's detouring. The brain is rerouting its pathways in real time. But this rewiring isn't random, it's strategic. Your brain prioritizes emotional memory over technical detail. That's why at 82, you might forget what you had for lunch, but vividly recall the smell of your mother's kitchen from 70 years ago. The limbic system, your emotional core, stays remarkably strong even as the analytical cortex weakens. I once spoke with Albert, an 84-year-old retired engineer, who laughed as he told me, I can't fix a toaster anymore, but I can remember the day I met my wife in 1959 like it was yesterday. His brain wasn't failing, it was reprioritizing, choosing connection over calculation. However, there's a darker side. This rewiring process can also trigger misfires. When new connections form incorrectly, they cause slower reaction times, 
unsteady balance, or sudden emotional changes. A 2021 JAMA Neurology report revealed that nearly one in three adults over 80 experience mild cognitive fluctuation due to misrouted neural activity, moments of sudden mental fog that come and go. It's not permanent damage, it's temporary confusion caused by overloaded circuits. So, when you lose a word, pause mid-story, or forget a date. Don't panic. It's not always a sign of decline. It's a sign your brain is adapting to a new phase of operation. Just remember, every new thought, every small challenge, and every conversation lights up those new routes a little brighter. Next up is number two, a shift that doesn't happen in your mind, but in your muscles. Number two, your muscles begin eating themselves, sarcopenia. By the time you reach 80, something alarming begins deep beneath your skin. Your muscles, once strong, firm, and ready to move, quietly start consuming themselves. It's called sarcopenia, and it's one of the most dangerous yet invisible processes of aging. It doesn't happen overnight. It creeps in slowly, turning power into weakness, strength into stiffness, and independence into dependency. According to a 2023 journal of cachexia, sarcopenia, and muscle study, more than 45% of people over 80 suffer from moderate to severe sarcopenia, and most don't even realize it. Every year, you lose about 1% of muscle mass and 2-3% of strength, even if you still walk, eat well, and stay active. The reason is cruelly simple, your body's balance between building and breaking down protein collapses. You're still breaking muscle, but you're no longer rebuilding it fast enough. Hormones like testosterone, estrogen, and growth hormone plummet with age, and your body begins to cannibalize its own muscle tissue for energy. This process releases amino acids that the body uses to keep the brain and heart functioning, but it comes at a brutal cost, shrinking arms, thinning legs, and weakened posture. Over time, it's not just about losing muscle mass, it's losing control. That's why people over 80 often say, I just don't feel steady anymore. They're not clumsy, they're chemically unbalanced. Their brain sends signals to muscles that are no longer there. A study from the American Journal of Medicine found that seniors with sarcopenia are five times more likely to experience a fall or fracture, and those who lose more than 10% of their leg mass double their mortality risk within three years. I'll never forget Henry, 83, a retired farmer who once lifted hay bales like feathers. When I met him, he told me, Doc, I'm not tired, I'm hollow. His muscles hadn't just weakened, they had been metabolized. His body had started feeding on them for survival. It's like burning your own furniture to stay warm, I told him. And that's exactly what happens inside. When the body runs short on energy, it breaks down muscle protein and hit glucose for fuel. But here's the shocking twist. Sarcopenia doesn't only affect your strength. It affects your immune system, balance, and even your brain. Muscles act as reservoirs of amino acids that help produce immune cells and neurotransmitters. When your muscles waste away, your body loses its backup supply. That's why people with low muscle mass heal slower, get sick faster, and experience brain fog or low mood. The connection between muscle health and longevity is now undeniable. The weaker your muscles, the shorter your lifespan. So, yes, your muscles may begin to eat themselves with age, but you can fight back. Every step, every stretch, every bite of protein tells your body, don't shut down yet, I still need this strength. Next, we move to number one, and this one is perhaps the most haunting of all, because it's not about what your muscles do or what your brain forgets. Number one, your sleep clock flips. When you cross 80, one of the most unsettling and least understood changes happens while you're supposed to be resting. Your sleep clock, the biological rhythm that once kept your nights calm and your mornings bright, starts to flip itself upside down. Suddenly, you're wide awake at 3 a.m. napping after breakfast and feeling exhausted long before sunset. It's not insomnia, it's your brain's internal clock, called the circadian rhythm, losing its sync with time. Researchers at Harvard Medical School discovered that after age 80, the brain's master clock, located in the suprachiasmatic nucleus, a cluster of about 20,000 neurons behind your eyes, begins to weaken. This clock uses light cues from your eyes to tell your body when to release hormones like melatonin and cortisol, the two chemicals that control sleep and alertness. But as the eyes age and absorb less light, those signals grow fuzzy. Your body still wants to sleep and wake, but it no longer knows when. That's why so many older adults experience what scientists call advanced sleep phase syndrome, falling asleep too early, waking up in the middle of the night, and then drifting off during the day. It's not poor sleep habits. It's biology rewiring itself, and it affects nearly 60% of people over 80, according to a 2022 Sleep Medicine Review. But it doesn't stop there. When your circadian rhythm flips, your body temperature, 
hormone release, and even digestion fall out of sync too. Your liver may start metabolizing food at the wrong times, your heart rate might dip or spike unpredictably, and your immune system becomes confused. A Journal of Gerontology study found that seniors with disrupted sleep rhythms had three times the risk of cardiovascular events and cognitive decline compared to those with stable patterns. I once had a patient, Evelyn, 82, who told me she felt like her nights and days had swapped places. I wake up when the world is asleep, she said, and when I finally get tired, it's breakfast time. Her blood work was fine, but her circadian rhythm was broken. Light exposure therapy helped reset her schedule within weeks. It's like my body finally found its clock again, she said, tears in her eyes. Sleep at 80 isn't just about rest, it's about survival. During deep sleep, your brain cleans itself, literally washing away toxins through a network called the glymphatic system. When your sleep becomes shallow or fragmented, that cleansing process fails, allowing waste proteins like beta amyloid to build up, the same proteins linked to Alzheimer's disease. In short, losing sleep means losing protection for your mind. But there's hope. Exposure to morning sunlight, evening dim lights, and consistent meal timing can retrain the body's natural rhythm. Melatonin supplements and gentle activity, like short walks or chair stretches, also help reinforce the day-night cycle. So, when you find yourself waking in the dark or nodding off in daylight, it's not weakness. It's your brain fighting to recalibrate time itself. Because once you turn 80, even your sleep stops being automatic. It becomes a negotiation between your body and the clock of life. So there you have it, the five things that happen once you turn 80, whether you like it or not. Your body changes its rhythm, your senses fade, your muscles shrink, and your brain begins quietly rewriting its own code. But here's the part that matters most. These changes don't mean you're broken. They mean you're alive. Your body is still adapting, still fighting, still learning how to survive in its eighth decade. Science now shows that even at 80 and beyond, you can rebuild strength, restore focus, and reset your internal clock. You can't stop time, but you can slow its grip by staying curious, eating well, and moving daily. Which of these five signs have you noticed most in yourself or someone you love? Tell us in the comments below. My team and I read and reply to every single story personally. And if this video opened your eyes, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend or parent over 70, and subscribe for more doctor-backed videos that explain aging in ways anyone can understand. Because getting older isn't the end of the story. It's just the body turning the page to a new chapter of strength, wisdom, and adaptation. Anything you'd like to add, comment below. We value your perspective. Thanks for watching.